why do my palms get sweaty when I watch videos of people climbing up cranes and stuff like that? You okay. know the ones that I mean? The guy's sure. got a GoPro, there's a dude called James oh, yeah. Kingston from the UK that's a psychopath. He goes up to the highest uh, towers of Dubai uh, illegally in the middle of the night, and then I watch it on a screen that's only this big, and I yeah. get this visceral response. Yeah, well, two things. First of all, I, I can relate. You know, I saw the free solo movie with Alex Honnold, and you know he lives, and it's still scary to watch, right? You actually know the outcome at the beginning. They sort of make it clear that he manages to do this, and you're, it's still terrifying. And I think it's for the same reason that those YouTube videos are terrifying, which is that we are so visual as animals. We are so visual. I mean, rodents, even a lot of uh, carnivore predators are extremely olfactory, smell-driven. Humans are incredibly visual. I mean, more than 40% of the human brain has something to do with vision, visual navigation, eye movements, um, visual perception, color perception, face perception. We have dedicated areas of the brain that are just for perceiving human faces and the ex micro expressions of human faces. So it's so highly evolved for us. When we see depth of field that's not um, parallel to the ground, it is terrifying with good reason because, you know, what's the universal force that we all experience from the time we're born is gravity. The first thing you learn is that things fall down, not up, right? The, you know, it's, it's like the, the fundamental rule that we come into the, the world with. It's like day one, even though the baby is kind of flopping around like a potato, but can't even hold its head up, the eyes are often, you know, the ocular muscles of the eyes are often not very good. So babies will kind of, their eyes are rolling back in their head. That generally corrects itself over the next few weeks or so. But the feeling of gravity of them, you know, if they feel like they're being dropped, even the tiniest bit, right, they will go wide-eyed. So there's a built-in vestibulo-ocular reflex. So when you see depth of field in the direction of the gravitational pull, you actually get a little bit of activity in your cerebellum, which literally means mini brain, a little area of the brain in the back that actually looks like a little mini brain if you were looking at the brain. And that area of the brain is responsible for all the reflexes associated with the falling reflex. It does a lot of other things too. So when you see that depth of field in the direction of gravity, you, there, you have a little microactivity in your brain that you might fall. And if you've ever been to a tall bridge or a dam and you go to the edge and you know people love to play with this. There's that also that tower in Toronto they have the big um, Sears Tower. Well, the big no, the big um, the big tower. <laughs> I forget what it is. Maybe it's in Calgary. Goodness, Canadians are going to hate me. Okay, I love Canadians, but for some reason I can't remember this. But they have one of those glass floors there, where you can walk, and it's terrifying. And you know you're not going to fall through it, right? Or they tell you you're not going to fall through it, but it's terrifying because your body and brain are preparing for this immense fall. So when you see this in video, it's the same thing. I always say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is worth 10 million pictures. I mean, this is the reason why we're so drawn to things like Instagram scrolling. It's like text, 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 video, you know, or the, the enormous popularity of TikTok, it's video. Now the enormous popularity of Twitter still escapes me because that's a different, different uh, sort of uh, cultural gravitational pull. But video and in particular action that gets us in a kind of a primitive mode, that is an extremely alluring visual image. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.